All right, so I'm going to switch now and use a ruler. Um, just for the sake of clarity, the lines are getting a little messy. Um, and we're going to get into some more complicated operations uh, momentarily. All right, so uh, let's see what happens. Let's play with, we've been putting our, our horizon line more or less in the center of the page. So let's put it up higher um, towards the top of the page. And we're going to be using uh, one and two point perspective here. Okay. So now we're going to draw, we're going to keep working with, with rectangular solids. We're going to pick a vanishing point up here. And we're going to draw a rectangular solid that is entirely below the horizon line as if you're looking down on it. Um, so we're going to draw our rectangle, keeping it parallel and perpendicular to the horizon line. And you know, I'm using a ruler for the sake of clarity, but um, I'm saying I'm trying to stay loose with it. I'm not I'm not trying to be really uh, too terribly accurate because um, I think that kind of deadens the drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these four points. We're going to run them all the way back to the horizon line and our chosen vanishing point, single point perspective. So now you can see an immediate sort of receding motion happening here. Um, and we're just going to finish off a rectangular solid by doing the same thing we've already done. We're just going to draw all our parallel and perpendicular lines. Now if you're lazy and you just want to not draw through the form, you can see that that suggests a three-dimensional form all the sides that we can see, but because we're learning and we're studying, um, we need to go ahead and uh, draw all the way through the form, draw the back. If you want to, you can, if you're using a pencil, you can draw these lines that are actually behind. Um, you can draw those a little lighter, um, but I think for the sake of clarity on the video, I'll have to keep drawing them a little more heavy than I normally would. All right, so now we have an object that is entirely below the horizon line, and you can see, uh, perceive three sides that are out uh, in the sort of visible area. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but, um, but we're going to use a, uh, a two-point perspective. So we're going to take two vanishing points. For now, it doesn't really matter how close far apart. Just choose a reasonable distance um, and experiment with it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start with uh, with a vertical. Okay, so that's about as far as you can go before you start making planes recede into space. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our two ends of this line and draw back to both vanishing points from either end of this line. Be somewhat precise, but don't be too precise. Doesn't have to be perfect. Only, uh, only learning this stuff. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, find the outer boundaries of this solid. So we're going to pick two planes. And we're going to draw lines that are perpendicular to the horizon line. Draw, drawing our verticals in. So now, to complete the form, um, we've really only got to draw two more lines going back to the uh, to the horizon, and this is how you're gonna skip steps later. So we've almost got a bound form where you can see three sides of it. So we're gonna we're gonna finish binding it right here by drawing all the way back to the horizon line. So now you can see that you can that that we have a form. Uh, 
defined now. Um, but just for the sake of clarity, keep drawing through the forms. I'm, I'm going to keep uh, gonna keep harping on you about this. Don't get lazy at this stage. Um, get lazy after you've developed your intuitive sense of perspective. Um, and there's a cool moment that comes when you're studying perspective uh, where you feel as if you can include any amount of detail on any size page. And that is a great moment. That's where you want to be uh, in your study of perspective. Okay, so now all I have to do is drop our last little vertical right here. I'm kind of drawing through the form. You can see that I've been slightly imprecise about exactly making these perpendicular. If you wanted to be, um, if you wanted to be even more precise, you'd have to use a square. Um, but I don't really think it's worth getting into that. You've already got the suggestion of space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to increase the the line weight of the outer edges of this box to make sure that the planes that are visible kind of come come forward. And that kind of cleans everything up a little bit. Right. Now if I were using pencil, it wouldn't show up very nicely on video, but what I would do is I would erase all my construction lines once I was finally happy with the form, uh, and I would come out with a nice neat little box. So there you go. You can you had, I think you guys have the idea of how this works. Okay, so this is this is the key difference between one and two point perspective. What happens with one point perspective is that uh, half of your uh, of your horizontal lines recede, and the other half simply parallel the horizon line. In uh, two point perspective, because the uh, uh, these horizontal lines are receding, they're both going to be going back to vanishing points, so there are no lines really that are going to parallel in a two-dimensional way the horizon line. Um, the verticals are going to remain perpendicular to the horizon line in both one and two point perspective. See how that happens? All the verticals perpendicular. Okay. A three-point perspective changes because we're going to pick a point way up here, um, out of view, and all and all of the vertical lines are actually going to recede as well. Um, and if you're um, looking, say, up at a skyscraper, you'll see why that is because those things recede in space as well. Okay, so if we were drawing this solid and we were to pick a receding point down at the bottom, what would happen is we would. Uh, draw our vertical lines like that, as if they're receding downwards. So already you can see, with the addition of those lines, that these planes seem to be receding down in space and away. So that's three-point perspective in a quick nutshell, and that's where we're going to head very soon.